Warm greetings to all who are connected to this virtual presentation. My name is Magister Susana Vilca Achata, Executive President of the Geological Mining and Metallurgical Institute in Jemet, in Peru. INGEMET is a governing institution that has two fundamental roles. The first one is research, which generates geological knowledge. And second, the granting rule, which is focused on the granting of concession titles on behalf of the state. We promote social and economic development for the country with these two rules. Our geology has a span of over 1.8 million years. Thus, the geological section, as shown on the slide, the cross sections shows our structural geology that goes from Mardi Gras to the Lao Jungle. We are located in a subduction zone. Additionally, the cortical domains or transects shows that this magnetotelluric section is seen in the lower part through the geophysics. And that the cortical structure has different physical properties. This is very important for mining investment because there we're going to be able to see the deposition of different economic elements. We are going to continue carrying out this type of work. We have already programmed research projects. For example, by next year, we are planning to better equip ourselves and gradually have a series of these sections nationwide. We also have the National Geological Chart, a 1,000 key scale map, 500-100 key scale maps, and 918-50 key scale maps. Related to geochemistry, we have 22,928 registered stream sediment samples. Thus, between 30 and 50 chemical elements have been analyzed. Besides, we have 1,890 geochemical anomalies with economic relevance. Regarding endowments, in geochronology, we have 3,794 samples to know the precision of the age of the rocks. To know the exhumation of rocks, in thermochronology, we hold with 1,206 samples. In terms of the geological and metallurgic potential, we have strategic ferrous and precious metals as well as base metals. And as I've shown in this section, each point in the national territory represents production units. Concerning metallogenic belts, we have 23 of them. Thus, they are all studied according to the age mineralization, type of deposit, type of economic elements, size and grade of the mineral deposit, as well as the production rates, its reserve and other resources as well. Besides, we have areas of no admission of petition. These are called ANAP. The purpose is to support investment in exploration. Nowadays, there are two ANAP that are already awarded in public action. We have C ANAP with high potential, five of them with geophysical data, then 10 ANAP with geochemical data, and we have two others that are still entering studies. We're still just waiting for the moment to go to work due to some social issues. Currently, we have been working on the GeoProMine platform. What is this? What does it mean? We have the free claim areas, which occurrences are published throughout the year. These areas of free claims will be studied with all the data we already have, according to the mining exploration targets. These facts will precisely facilitate investment in exploration. 
On the other side, concerning the non-metallic geological mining potential, we can find bentonite, limestone, diatomite, and phosphates. We have big projects, for instance, the Bayer project and the other ones in Honing, in the center of the country. Likewise, we have an online platform that is widely known. It is GeoCadbin, which is a free access platform that is constantly updated. It contains geology and mining data in more than 200 layers of virtual access. Regarding the new mining tailor procedure and granting rules, the new mining procedure regulation published last August, they aim to simplify and standardize procedures. Additionally, they aim to eliminate requirements, incorporate procedures subject to positive administrative silence, promote speed in the evaluation, generate predictability in procedures, and encourage trust and legal security for mining investment. Ingemet is currently working on an online request project. Anyone will be able to access from anywhere in the world in order to make their request. Furthermore, Sirencat, the cadastral mining rights system, according to the latest Supreme Decree number 20, allows access to information in real time in order that the mining administrative procedure responds to the principle of certainty, simplicity, publicity, uniformity, and efficiency. It also contains graphic and alphanumeric data on mining rights at national level, as well as file images that are digitized or the relevant data and decision-making in mining administrative procedures. SirenCAT is a noteworthy virtual platform with direct access at zero cost. Our national mining cadastry shows the following results. 14.78% of the national territory is covered by mining rights and 33.92% of the territory with restricted areas. For instance, protected areas, natural areas, urban spatial areas, ports, airports, national defense areas, among others. But the 51.79% of the territory indicates a non-restricted area. This means a mining investment can be made on it. As shown throughout the exhibition, we have activities and specializations in geochemistry, geophysics, laboratory analysis, remote sensing, lithology, geochronology, among others, in addition to our granting rule. We invite you to visit our Geocademy platform, Ingemet website, and all its other activities. So now, here's our institutional video presentation. Thanks for your time. Peru is a country with immense wealth to discover. Its geological potential is based on its diverse types of lithology and the age of its rocks, which vary from 1,862 million years old to zero-year-old rocks. These characteristics, added to its geographical location, have established a favorable context to form world-class metal deposits, such as gold, copper, and mainly iron, which places our country as the main producers in South America and the world. The Geological Mining and Metallurgical Institute, INGEMET, is a geological survey of Peru, which generates and provides geological information, grants and manages mining rights for the general public as well as public and private entities, with speed transparency and legal security. 
Thus, Ingemet has several research projects, such as metallogeny. Ingemet is currently in primary artificial intelligence in the development of the National Geological Chart with a purpose of providing a better service. The geological maps of the National Geological Chart represent the progress of scientific studies in all geology branches. Furthermore, the geoenvironmental baseline studies are a geoenvironmental management tool to benefit the population and the state, which allow us to know the chemical variation of the water and its possible natural or anthropic contamination. Ingemet, at the forefront of technology, has the Cadastry and Mining Rights System Siren Cat, which allows us to ask for general data on mining rights information on payments for validity and penalties, as well as viewing files in digital format and on writing them in PDF format for proper and timely management. Likewise, you can also access the Geological and Mining Cadastre Information System, GeoCatPin, which is a virtual platform with more than 200 layers of information. Mining activity in Peru requires research in mineral deposits to show new models for exploration and methods for discovering new deposits. In Ingemet, we pursue this objective by conducting studies focused on highlighting the strategic metals that they may contain. Thus, we have geochemical results for more than 25,000 samples of rocks sediments and ores. Likewise, lithium studies have been completed in Peru and geochemical information of nearly 500 samples are available to investors. In order to give a value to mining tiling, mineralogical and geochemical characterization studies are carried out to know the strategic elements they may contain. Ingemet has been applying the use of new technologies, such as machine learning, business intelligence, among others, to determine the regional mining potential based on geological mining variables. Gobierno del Perú, el Perú primero.